What is up guys, Thaddeus here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how Instagram actually was responsible for my sites generating over, you know, 2,000 a day in orders, 1,000 a day in sales, um, right from the day it went live, okay? Now, how does this happen? Um, you need a particular funnel set in place when you start um, running shout outs, right? Um, but I do want to talk about one thing. There is the meetup in LA uh, on November 2nd. That one is a free just meetup, uh, kind of like meet and greet type stuff. The address will be dropped on November 2nd on this channel the day of because we're not giving it out um, anytime before that. And then the meetup in Las Vegas, guys, that one is crazy. We're renting out a giant mansion. 25 of you guys are going to be able to spend the night with us in the mansion on a more kickback level mastermind, make money, learn from us. A hundred of you guys are going to be there during the day to mastermind and work with us, um, just not spend the night on a more like chill kind of level, right? So Get those tickets in the link in the description and the course guys is selling like crazy the link is in the description for that too But uh, let's just get started with the video. I am hyped for this and uh, yeah guys Instagram influencers having a proper funnel. Let's get started. All right, let's go You got to drive traffic with Instagram Okay, and from Instagram you're collecting data You're sending that traffic to your website and then from there you can you know have your Facebook pixel on your website to collect the data and Scale up right so again. I use Instagram influencers to start off I usually run shout outs for around a month from there I look into um, starting paid ads with Facebook and scaling with that either Facebook paid ads or Instagram sponsored posts okay now aside from all of that we need to figure out all right, I'm gonna explain to you guys the the five the five steps in this whole Instagram funnel that all play a key role into start into into converting from Instagram okay because um, a lot of you guys are you know starting with influencers starting with social media um, without using paid ads yet like I do but you're still having trouble right and I want to be able to show you guys or help you guys out showing you guys the, the five steps that you need set in place because it's, it's a funnel guys if one step in the funnel is messed up that that's that's a problem okay uh that that'll butcher you know every other step in the funnel that that you took time and invested in to perfect but if there's that one that's not doing um so good or there's one that you messed up on then that uh adversely can you know make the entire funnel crap right so i apologize if i seem tired it is 1 30 in the morning right now i am running on very little sleep but i do want to get a video a day up for you guys i promised myself i'd do this and uh my mama ain't raising no bitch so we're gonna get this video up all right so uh, I got notes and let's get started. Step number one, you need to source the proper influencers, guys, okay? And in my course, I, I run through like the entire, entire like step-by-step -step stuff, but essentially what you wanna do is you wanna find a bunch of influencers, I'm talking, you know, 20, 30 influencers. Uh, you wanna find their engagement, get all the information down, then you wanna narrow that down based on their um, engagement levels, okay? And then from those engagement levels, um, you're gonna, after you narrow them down, you're gonna narrow it down once again to a very, very small pool of influencers based on your own budget, okay? And from there, you should be able to pool, like, you know, anywhere from two to five influencers that have good engagement that should be well performing pages okay and again as an industry standard I always work with pages over 400,000 followers okay this is for longevity now with that th th there can be a whole bunch of different factors that come in it but like how do you source a proper influencer one you go to socialblade.com. That right there, you can type in an Instagram username. You can see their followers um, over time. And the only thing you want to look out for is just a direct upward spike, right? So in the bar graph, it go if it goes like this and you see a direct upward spike, oftentimes it, it, it might mean that the influencer purchased followers. And that right there, um, that like that's an issue right because you don't want to spend money on shout out like on a, on a large following when you know a portion of those followers are fake or not real right they're not going to engage with your um, content they're not going to go to your website they're not going to buy your product which is the most important factor okay and then from there that's how you can determine whether or not you know a page is, is credible now figure out engagement rates there's a bunch of different websites that do that i'm actually working on an app for you guys too aside from the other app that i talked about in my uh, other video but uh, this app is just a super simple engagement rate calculator that i think uh, will be super helpful for you guys but for now you guys can go to flanks.com p-h-l-a-n-x Dot com. They have an engagement rate calculated there. You just type in the username and it gives you the engagement. Okay, so from there you should be able to calculate engagement rates for over 30 accounts, and then you can determine which ones are credible by going through Social Blade. Now, once you've narrowed them all down, you narrow them down again based on your budget. Okay, so that's step number one. You need solid influencers. If you don't have solid influencers, the rest of the funnel is complete shit. Okay, it's not going to work. Okay, so you need solid influencers. All right, step two. Step two is purchasing shoutouts. Okay, now this seems relatively easy. You know, you email the influencer, you get their rates, you purchase shoutouts, but but because in this in this day and age, I know Alex Becker said this in another video too, and I'm I'm quoting. I'm not like saying this is like my 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 idea, but people like influencers don't really understand the value of their audience yet, and I agree with this. And 
because of that some influencers charge a lot less than what they're actually worth so you can get away like you can get a bargain right you can like you can buy shoutouts for steel but on the flip side there's some influencers that are actually they realize this and they're charging you know ridiculous amounts for their um for their following size and that's where you want to watch out for that's where you want to don't get like don't want to like take the bite on right because the thing about think about this if you purchase a shout out for say thirty dollars and you make you know a hundred dollars back on that shout out right you're 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 profitable or you should be profitable based on your other cost of goods um, now, if that shout out was sixty dollars, on the other hand, and you made a hundred dollars from you know from the same audience, if it was the same influencer, you might not be profitable based on your other cost of goods and other factors on your website, right? And so, being able to to work with these influencers on a lower shout out basis, or at least gauging like you know comparing influencers and their sizes and seeing what their what their rates are and what they're charging, trying to go for cheaper shout outs. I'm not saying go for the cheapest shout outs because sometimes the the cheapest shout outs some like mean the cheapest quality followers right and so i'm not saying go for the cheapest but i'm just saying keep an eye out guys for people that are that are charging way 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 over what they're worth all right and then from there guys you also don't be afraid to negotiate with influencers because again these shout outs are, are they're just based basically on thought and competitors okay they they don't have any cost of goods to post the shout outs they might have like a va or two um that are actually doing the grunt work and posting those shout outs but aside from that there's no cost of goods for them okay so you can feel free to negotiate it doesn't hurt to try and negotiate it saves you money and again if, if an influencer is you know charging 30 dollars and you make a hundred dollars from that imagine if you negotiate him down to you know fifteen dollars um for for that shout out but say you bought like a bundle of 10 in advance right and you gave it to you for fifteen dollars and you spread those shout outs out so you still make around you know a hundred dollars consistently right you just you just improved your margins right there okay so again guys this all plays into the funnel on how that all kind of works and each step is very very crucial in this funnel and um purchasing shout outs negotiating with influencers and making sure you get your bang for your buck is i think one crucial part that people don't really touch on too much so i hope that right there um provides some sort of insight for you guys now step number three the actual shout out okay guys instagram is such a visual platform if you're not posting good quality images you might as well uh you might as well not dropship, okay? Just because there's so many other dropshippers now in this industry and it's super easy to get into. You need to be better than everyone else. I'm trying to show you guys how to be up here when everyone else is right here, okay? And one thing that you need to do is post quality images, okay? And that includes your shout outs too, not just on your business Instagram page. Your shout outs, you need, you need quality images, okay? Unique, different images. I'm not saying repost the same ones from AliExpress and stuff that are often pixelated, um, low quality, and very generalized, like they're just white backgrounds right those are fine for your website if you have a white background image that, that's usually what you want for a website because you just want to be very specific and just showcase the product itself but for shout outs it's, it often you know comes to the lifestyle you want to get you want to like 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 you want to you want to invoke some emotion out of the image or you want to like showcase some sort of features with with the product something like that but you need quote like you need good quality images okay and I see a lot of you guys I said this in my last video too but I want to elaborate on this but a lot of you guys post text like you slap some text on an image and you use that as your shout out, okay? That's not what you want to do, okay? Because again, I'll talk about this in the next step, but um, the 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 picture is supposed to sell viewers, your like the 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 audience on looking at the caption, okay? The picture isn't supposed to sell them on going to the website. That's not that's not that's not how the funnel works, and you don't want to skip any step in the funnel or you mess everything up, okay? How does this work? So you need a good quality image that gets their attention. They're like, oh shit, what the hell is this, right? That gets their attention. Um, some something unique and just not not a like a bland boring image okay and sometimes guys this means you need to work with photographers use your own camera take some photos or um you know network around pay someone for, for photos right um and honestly if, if you need a bootstrap if you need to be scrappy then you know that's what i did you can take photos yourself until you find other people that can take photos for you or if you make friends with photographers stuff like that okay and doing that you you one you get unique images now that now you you're, you're establishing your brand outside of just a regular drop shipping store so you're making yourself unique okay and then two those shout outs those images like they're different and they're good quality okay you're not posting generalized pixelated white background images that people have seen 100 times over for different products all around okay you get users attention because you gotta do something different you need something to capture their attention um when, when you're doing this all right now that's that's the shout out image okay the next step in the funnel is the caption okay the caption is really what's important because that's gonna want that's gonna kind of close them on going to your instagram business page okay now with the caption there's there's a few ways you can do this again you want to experiment with a, with a lot of what you're doing okay it's all about experimentation all about